Man, it is insane here. Um, people are stuck in places. And I'm talking about some folks have been stuck overnight. Now, for those of you in the group, I didn't get stuck anywhere. Um, you know, work from home. So I wasn't out there. And as soon as I saw it, the snow flurries, I ran some errands, got the hell on, got my ass back home because I've been in the South all my life and I know what happens. You see a snowflake, it can be an accident. You see, but this is a little different. This is a little different. Some poor planning, but essentially everyone in Atlanta, schools, businesses, all tried to get the hell out of the, wherever they were at the same time and created massive gridlock like I've never seen. I recently went to go check on somebody who's good to go, and I saw 285 on my end of town is still a parking lot. This started at, it's, we're going to 24 hours that it's been like that. Still a parking lot. So, I mean, you know, just for, you know, and this is, this just, this video is just for the group. It's not going on mass YouTube. If you are really thinking about hustling, think about digital hustling. Think about ebooks, audiobooks, doing something online that your income isn't dependent upon you going out there. Because, I mean, this is just insane. I mean, I am seriously thinking about this because if you could just see some of the carnage down here. And I know for those who are, you know, maybe in other parts where, you know, you get this every year, you got to understand this doesn't happen all the time. And on the other side of the coin, looking at business, why would they spend millions and millions of dollars for equipment that they're not going to use except every decade or every other decade or just here and there? Taxpayers do not want to see that kind of money spent on stuff that's not used. But on the other hand, when people want what they want, and I can understand because there are people who have literally been stuck in their cars for 16, 17, 18. Some folks are going to 24 hours. Uh, I think when this gets over, there's going to be some bad outcomes. There's going to be some bad things that happen. And it is a very, very sad situation. Uh, one of my uh, good friends, his sister and brother, brother-in-law stayed with me last night because they were, fortunately, <laughs> they were close to me, close enough. It took them about four hours to get to me, and we're talking about three miles. It took them four hours to get three miles. So, you know, just, you know, forward thinking. You know, whatever you're doing, whatever you have going on, you got to think about an Internet business. You have to think of an Internet business. If you love resale and you love flipping stuff, cool. But get yourself some kind of Internet business as a supplement to accomplish your daily hustle because I would be freaking out if I had to go to work in this mess or was at work. If I was still in the storage auction business, the way that I was hustling, I would have got caught somewhere yesterday. I would have got caught. You know, and it's, you make the best of bad situations, but this is just crazy. I was telling Monique, that's um, uh, the, one of the people that saved me last night, that the decision I made in 2009, and I want you to hear me on this, you may have what's called a WAS, a wild-ass scheme, ideal in your head. And that's what my thing was in 2009, right in the book, the YouTube channel. It was a WAS. People laughed at me. People said, you know, talk st stuff. And it took a long time for it to really start moving because, you know, there was weeks I was making 100 bucks. There was weeks I was making 200 bucks. There was months I made four or $500 those first early months. That was it. And you just have to keep pushing and realize that success is a long-term game because I'm not worried about that out there in terms of how it impacts me because it doesn't. I'm worried because I got friends, I have family out there, you know, just, you know, I got a, a cousin who drives trucks. It's people that I care about who are getting caught up in this stuff because I want you to understand this gridlock because it hit Atlanta at whole, it's backing up stuff, you know, well, not just Atlanta, it hit Alabama, it hit Mississippi, you understand, this is going to be big impact for, you know, for the you selling eBay. Some of your shipments, they're not getting where they're going on time. Um, all kinds of stuff is happening because of this. Amazon, same thing. There's a lot of bad stuff that's going on. So I want you to really, really think about what you can do to 
facilitate some type of internet business. And, you know, for everyone that, you know, people sent me a few messages. I saw something on Facebook. I'm good. I think it's stuck anywhere. Thor is a beast. I mean, I ran, I went to the grocery store to get something for someone. And I passed people. There was people creeping on ice, dropped it down to one, went around them. No slipping, no sliding, whatever. So, you know, BMW, if I had a hat on, it'd be hats off because that four-wheel drive system is freaking awesome. But then again, I had to drive, a, you know, a deuce and a half. If you're in the military, you know what a deuce and a half is. On a steep ravine in Japan. <laughs> and on the other side, there was this 6,000-foot drop. So, I'm a careful driver and nice. You know, it really is. It's just driving slow, dropping in a lower gear and creep. That's really it. You know, sometimes you make it to a point where you slide, but it, it's just madness. It's just madness. Like I said, there's a few people I'm worried about I hadn't heard from because, uh, you know, people are running out of gas on the highway. People, their phone, their cell phones, no juice. So you got people who are literally out there on the island right now. So, you know, and like I said, I'm um, helping people, I'm doing some stuff. I'm trying to, I got some elderly folks around here that I had to check on. So, we will see how this goes. But uh, we'll get back in the fact probably tomorrow. There won't be Law 20 today. Because, like I said, my mind's a little blown right now. But uh, I will get back on point. So, it's just a quick message from me to you. I'm fine. I'm good to go. Like I said, people I, you know, I love and care about, and not so much. So, we will uh, get this thing going tomorrow. All right, that's it. This is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.